Hi everyone, today I have an interesting effect to share with you, which is animated text in PowerPoint. And I'll just say that the text actually isn't animated, it's an illusion of sorts, but I'm going to teach you how to do this. Right here we have an example of a background that is bokeh, floating dots that are out of focus, kind of floating around in the text letters. I'm going to show you another interaction here which is somewhat similar and both of these we saw in yesterday's video as we covered animated backgrounds in PowerPoint. What I'm doing now is actually just putting a mask on top of the background that has text on it and I'll show you how to get this effect. So let's look at the behind the scenes and see how I constructed these two slides. So here are my two slides and you can see that the components are that I have a box with text hollowed out in it and then I have this background slide, which is a video. And in our previous video, we talked about adjusting the playback settings so that the video loops and that it starts automatically. So this video is just going to keep playing and playing, and it's going to play underneath this text to give the letters an animated effect. And here's what that other slide looked like. It's the exact same text box with a different video behind it. So the real trick in this tutorial is how do you make this text box? I'm going to show you that and I'm also going to show you a few other tricks that you can do to embellish it beyond just having text. So I'll go ahead and delete that. I'm going to create a new slide. This will just be a blank slide. And what I'm going to do is insert a text box. I'm going to put it right on there and I'm going to type geometry. I'm going to choose a font that's nice and big. So this Arial Black I think is good because it creates big letters and I want them to be very blockish so that I can see the animation behind it. And then I'm going to choose a very large font size. I'll stretch this out so that it's the width of the slide and I'm just going to keep increasing and increasing this until I get something pretty big. And I think that's pretty good right there. So geometry, I'm going to place that over the fractal geode animation that I have there. So now I need, this is a text box, it's a text box with words in it. I need to convert that into a shape, which is called a vector. A vector is a shape that can be as large or small as you want without it having pixelation. So I'm going to go into insert and I'm going to click a shape that is the rectangle. I'll place it on here and I'm just going to shape it right over the words right there. I'm going to push that to the back now and with it selected, I'm going to also select the text box. Now we're in the shape format ribbon. I'm going to click on merge shapes and I'm going to choose intersect. So I'm only keeping those parts of, I have the box and I have the text box with the letters. I'm only keeping the part where they overlap with each other. And so what that did is this is no longer a text box. This is no longer text that I can edit. This is a shape. It's a vector shape. And so I can move it around. I can play with it. So that's a shape, but I can't just put this shape on top of the animated background. I need actually the opposite of that. I need a box that has this shape subtracted from it. So to do that, I'm going to hop back up to insert. I'm going to put another box and I'm going to put this right over the entire slide. Again, I'm going to push it to the back and with the box selected, I'm now going to select this other shape, which is the word geometry, but it's a shape instead of letters. And instead of intersect, which would keep only the shape that I have, the geometry, I'm going to subtract it. And since I selected the big box before I selected the shape that is the word geometry, it subtracts the second thing you select from the first thing. Now this has given me a shape that's a box without the words geometry. And I can go ahead and take the outline out. I can change the fill if I wanted to. And it's hard to really see the effect of this. So what I'm going to do just to elaborate is I'm going to go to the design ribbon and format background, I'm going to give it a solid fill of something probably black. And now you can see what this shape is. As I move it around, you can see what I have is a box with the word geometry cut out of it. And that's exactly what I want to place over my animated background here. So I'm going to cut this out. I'll delete that slide since I don't really need it anymore. And I'm going to paste it right over this. And let's preview what this looks like. So here, what it really looks like is a green slide that has the word geometry, but the word geometry is animated. In reality, you and I know that behind the scenes, I have a video on top of the slide and I have this shape with the word geometry cut out of it sitting on top of it. But I'm not going to stop right there. I'm going to show you some extra tips as well. Let's go ahead and insert some more shapes onto this slide. Um, suppose I want to put a heart in there for some reason. I can add a heart and maybe a cloud 
if I wanted to. So I'm gonna select this green shape and then I'll select the heart and I'm going to subtract the heart from the shape. And now I'm just punching holes in my shape using these additional shapes. I can even insert a box if I wanted to. Maybe I wanna do something like this and put a box there and another box right here just kind of have some fun with that so i'll select this and again i'm going to subtract it and there we have something fun so let's preview what that looks like it's not too bad and i really like how since it's a background video that in this case the vectors it all kind of marries like seamlessly it goes seamlessly behind the scenes and you can punch out different shapes and different words into this as well. So it's really kind of a cool effect. And I would use this technique in moments of your presentation where you really need to call the attention of the audience onto the slides. So perhaps a title slide or a sectional slide where we're gonna bring something back together. I want your attention up here because this really grabs it. It's hard not to look at this. If you're sitting in a conference room or if you're at a professional presentation or a classroom setting and you really want to capture their attention, put something like this on the screen and they're gonna look up from whatever they're doing and really be interested in what's going on.